Hello my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video I am going to show you how to make listening box circuit using operational amplifier examiner for T1. This type of circuit can be used in various places like if you wish to spy other then you may use this type of circuit or if you wish to monitor your small baby there you can also use this circuit. This circuit basically amplify the sound and produce output in this speaker so you can place this speaker in any remote location where you want to listen the conversation or voice now before going to circuit connection and description at first let's see the circuit diagram Now let's gather all the components required for listening bug using 7421. One operational amplifier 7421 with barrel board. One speaker whose output impedance is 4 ohm. One complementary pair of transistor that is one NPN and one PNP. Here 2N2222 is NPN and 2N2907 is PNP. Two electrolytic capacitor, one is a value 220 microfarad and another is a value 470 microfarad. In circuit, as you can see, there I had used 0.2 microfarad ceramic capacitor, but here in this prototype I am using two 0.1 microfarad in parallel. Similarly, we also required four resistor, two of 10 kilo ohm whereas one of 1 kilo ohm, one of 5.7 kilo ohm and one is for 22 kilo ohm. One variable resistor of 100 kilo ohm whereas one microphone and few connector according to our request. Now let's connect all the components according to the circuit diagram. Here I had already placed one operational amplifier on bare board. Here this pin is 1 and this one is of 8 pin. As you can see here, you can see a mark. This mark is used to indicate pin number 1. Now I am going to connect a 2.2, sorry, 22 kilo ohm resistor that is R1. Here. For that point, I'm going to connect one pin that is positive pin of microphone. Similarly, from that pin, we have to connect one 0.2 microfarad. Here, I'm using two each a value 0.1 microfarad in parallel. From the another end, one resistor of value 1 kilo ohm is connected. Where another end of that resistor is connected to pin 2 of operational amplifier, as you can see. So, without using any jumper, I am directly connect this output to pin number 2 of operational amplifier. Now, one series network each one series network using two resistor each of 10 kilo ohm is made now from the connection between these two point i'm connecting these two point to pin number 3 using this value jumper whereas one end of this resistor network is connected to positive power supply and another one is for ground for ground i am connecting it here so the last end is connected to the ground now I'm connecting pin number 7 to post supply that is I am made here 
for positive supply and P number 4 to ground. And leave the other pin of my operational amplifier as it is without connecting anything according to circuit diagram. Now I had configured microphone with this operational amplifier. Now it's time to make a feedback network. There I'm using variable sister, so I'm solder out these two pin. One pin is connected to pin two and another I'm going to connect it here through which a series resistor of 5.7k is connected now I also make feedback network it's time now it's time to make a complementary pair or loudspeaker driver circuit for NPN transistor the pin configuration is just opposite to PNP transistor for this 2 and double to double two this rightmost pin is collector and middle pin is base whereas this leftmost pin is base so I'm going to put it here whereas pin configuration of PNP transistor is just opposite that is this leftmost pin is collector middle is of base and the rightmost is of emitter as you can see also here the company has already marked CBE so I'm going to place it here and now I'm going to sort both the emitter pin and base pin So I can give supply from output of operational amplifier to one pin. Now I'm going to give supply to base of each transistor to output of operational amplifier that is pin number six. Whereas collector pin of transistor T1 that is 212222 is connected to positive power supply. So I'm going to connect it to here. Whereas collector of PNP transistor that is pin 2 is connected to ground. Now I had configured all this and at last the one end of feedback register that is one end of R5 is connected to output of capacitor C2. Where C2 must be of 4 point, sorry, 470 microfarad as you can see here. So I'm going to connect it here. And from the negative terminal, I'm going to connect loudspeaker. This red pin is for positive supply and black is for negative supply. So I'm going to connect positive pin to negative terminal of capacitor and this negative pin to here now it's time to connect the power supply for power supply I'm also using one filter capacitor that is C3 as you can see here super power supply this positive pin of capacitor I'm going to connect for positive PCC this crocodile chip and at negative terminal of capacitor I'm going to connect negative power supply that is now it's time to connect this BCC to overall BCC of the circuit and ground to overall ground of the circuit Now here the entire connection is ready according to the circuit diagram here I'm connecting here one microphone this is speaker 4 ohm 3 watt speaker 
Now let's connect the power supply. For power supply, I'm using 9 volt rechargeable battery and I'm going to connect this BCC pin to positive terminal of 9 volt battery and ground pill to negative terminal of 9 volt battery. Hello, hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project. As you listen to the amplified sound here, here I have to speak as much near to microphone due to the low quality of this microphone if you if you want to increase the efficiency you must have to use better quality this microphone now some of the user may have complained about hum sound in this speaker that is due to the use of ac adapter instead of battery i'm going to show you if you use ac adapter instead of battery then speaker produce the hum sound this is due to the ac ripple available in this dc line in order to avoid that please use battery thank you for watching this video and please let us know if you had made this circuit and also use our comment box if you had faced any problem while connecting this circuit. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every new project video.